What's going on guys? Today I'm in Sparkleberry Swamp doing some crappy fishing. Hopefully I catch some crappy. This is the first time I'm actually like crappy fishing here, so I'm gonna see what I can catch. First time I had my boat out 2022. First fishing trip of 2022. The water is very, very low. And I can't get to the spot that I wanted to go to. So I'm gonna try to fish right here. If I don't catch nothing right here, then I'll move further on. But uh, I got some rods to set up and then after I get them rods set up, I'm gonna see if I can catch me a cooler full of crappy, hopefully. I'll be satisfied with one crappy because the last time I caught a crappy, I was probably 12 years old. So if I catch one, I'll be satisfied. So uh, let's see what happens. Here we go. Got some action. I think these minnows too big for these crappy. Really, they said they didn't have in the bait store. They said they didn't have any small ones, so I had to go with the medium ones. Perfect, right around them trees like I want it to. Right around them trees. Once I locate these fish, I'll probably be all right then. Got to find out where they at. I got my Garmin on me so I don't get lost in this swamp. And three weights are better than two. So after one hit that one, then I know what to do. If another one hits it. Perfect. Perfecto. Now we wait. Oh. I got something. I got something. Ooh, I got a perch. Red perch. He's thick too. He'll eat. He will eat. He's peeing. I forgot these red perch like these um minnows as well.
There's no need for ice because it's 30 degrees out here. So didn't put ice in here. But let me show y'all this fish. That's the fish right there that just hit. He's coming in the cooler with me. I never ate any of these fish. They said it's good eating. But I never tried them, so there he goes. It's been a minute since I caught one of those. Get that pole back out there. Get these poles back out here. At least we got some action, folks. Hopefully, the next the next fish is a crappy though. Praying for that one. Orange got something. Another perch. I mean, I'm not complaining because these are some good sized perch, so. That's what we're gonna catch today. I guess that's what we'll be catching today. He swallowed it too. Every time they get into that little spot right there, 
it got to be a school of them right there because every time that barber drifts over there, that's where they're hitting them at. I got another one too. Sure enough, I'm telling you every time. Well, I guess that's what we're catching today, but I'm not complaining because these are some good sized perch. And matter of fact, he's peeing, so it is a school of them over there. See how many of those I can catch, yeah. I think Orange just had some company, I'm not sure. Yep, he does. He does, and here we go. guys so i'm gonna tell y'all things i've been using today i'm gonna start with the hooks i've been using these eagle claw number four hooks just a regular setup like for bluegill so i use i was using the bobber got two of these split shots just small little split shots and then the number four eagle claw hook. This rod right here is a Berkeley. You know, small game. It's called a it's called a Berkeley Cherry Wood. I like this rod. This is the Berkeley Cherry Wood rod. Nice light weight. This rod right here I was using, this is called an Okuma Cyclone X. And I had the same setup, just a bobber. I had three split shots on that one, as y'all remember. And then the number four Eagle Claw hook. I'm using 10 pound test line, just in case I ran into like some catfish or mudfish fishing with those minnows. You never know what you'll catch, but. The minnow bucket I was using is the Freybill. This is called a Turbo Troll, but also known as the Freybills. You know, got the holes that you can sit this bucket in the water and let them drift if you want, so they'll stay alive longer. But I didn't do that today because it was already cold. And they stayed alive pretty good. Oh, uh, now, we ended up with a couple fish we didn't catch too many but we caught some good size perch there's the perch we caught six today 
We didn't catch too many. I never tried these. I might try them. Here, that's what I ended up with today. Sadly, I didn't get any crappy. I wish I could have got some crappy, but it don't always go like that. I tried to find them. I couldn't find them. So sometimes you got to take what you got, take, take what you can catch, and call it a day. So that's what I did today. I had fun. It was pretty cold on that water. It was probably 35 degrees, and it just warmed up to probably 45. I appreciate y'all for tuning in to Jay Cameron Outdoors. Until next time, peace out.